Hi everyone, it's Gail and I'm here with a little continuation from my uh, Mixed Media Monday this week. I have all the mess out and so I decided I would go ahead and do some of the things that I wanted to do but didn't get to um, on the Mixed Media Monday video. And also I've, I've looked at some of my prints and I think they need a little more. We're going to do some other paints. It's just, I have it out. I'm just going to keep going for it. So that's what we're going to do today is we're going to get painty again. So let's say hi and hugs first to Janice, Susan, Mello, and Sue. Thank you so much for watching and your kind comments. Okay. Well, all of our stuff is dry, so we can we can play with the things that were that we played with um, on Monday. But let me show you a couple things that I would like to kind of work in. I've shown you this before. This is my end mass journal, and um, I love it so much. <laughs> and I haven't played in it for a while. So um, I thought we might do some painting on the pages. As you can see, like these pages are painted on. And then let me see if I can find one. This one's painted on. Um, that, one's, that one's security envelopes. <laughs> and then like, oh, nope, that's painted on. Oh, there's a good one to to paint on. That one's painted and then collaged. And then sometimes this one's painted on, but sometimes this one is too. Sometimes I take um, like a painty paper that I love and put it on. This one also is painted. Yeah, so anyway. I have lots of pages still in here. This one painted on. And they're they're brayered mostly. Brayered or done with the credit card. So I wanted to play in that a little bit. Um, let's do... Where did I find these, these two? Let's do this page right here. But then I'll show you the other thing I wanted to... Pull, wanted to do a little painting in these are my drop paper um my drop paper journals and as you know they're made out of these uh calendars that i work on and then they're all sorts of a mess <laughs> and so then i can make stuff on them like like this yeah they're just, they're just fun and painty. And so I thought I might, I didn't know, this one doesn't have very much going on in it. So this one might be the one that we do. Like, look at those two. Those two are begging to be painted on. So maybe we'll start out with a little of that and go from there. So... I think this time, you know, I was saying I was just going to grab and go last time, and I didn't really. <laughs> so I think I'm going to try that. Okay, what do we got? We've got Hauser Light Green. I didn't use this, I don't think, last time. Oops. There we go. We've got crumbles again. Um, if you might remember from Monday that um, I am using paint that is kind of old and dried up. Okay, don't look. Ooh, now that's a combo I probably wouldn't have picked. <laughs> okay. Some little, little blue. Ooh, I'm not going to use that. It's too uh, runny in this book. I'll use this blue instead. So same color, just not quite as, not quite as goopy. This has a little paint goober too. Oh, I wanted to tell you in between um, filming the last video and this video, 
Um, I'll pick one of these two tubes. How about this one? Gosh, that's pretty close to that. I'm <laughs> switch it. Um, I washed my hands and um, I'm gonna pick one of these little tubes. And I used Austin Brew Austin Arnold, who is Crafty Boo Bro. Oh, gold. That makes me happy. Um, I used his body scrub and it really worked well on paint. I was hoping it would and it really did. Okay, I think since that's kind of funky, I'm going to brayer this. Let's see what happens, okay? Here we go. Usually I put a paper like under here so that I don't get it on other pages, but in my drop journal, I don't care. If I get it on the other pages, it just adds more character. Ooh, I kind of like it, guys. Okay. Ooh, a lot of gold right there, a lot of gold. This uh, dark green is really, it's interesting. I think one of my papers over there that I did before lunch is still drying from that. Didn't have quite as much of this, did I? Is this what I used? I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a little more of it just cause I like it. No rules, remember, you can start out one way and go a totally opposite direction if you want to. So Char, my friend Char, has a drop paper journal, several of you do. So I hope this inspires you to give a play with a little, with a little paint. Let's see, let's just... Okay, all righty. Well, that one can dry. And we've got a page. And the cool thing is it's like already you have a background. Okay, where am I gonna put this? Everything else is dry, so I should, should be okay. So there's that one. Let's, let's try the smoosh on this. Now this one, I am going to put papers in between the pages because um, I just don't want it to get on some pages that are already completely done. So I've got this scrap of paper that I'm not going to use. So I'm going to put it, I mean, I'm going to use it for painty papers because it's not something I love particularly. Okay, so I'm thinking we could smoosh this one. So again, I'm just gonna grab and see what we get. This looks a little bit neon. Okay. Okay, look in the other direction and grabbing. Okay. Okay, and one more time, at least. Okay, oh, this is the runny one, which is actually probably good because it'll smoosh well. Just don't want too much of it. See, and these pa pages aren't even gessoed, and they just, they just come together. It's so 
crazy. And, and you know, and it doesn't, it doesn't ruin the book at all. Okay, I'm just going to put that over and smoosh. That's what I'm going to do. Ew! That smooshed right out. Okay, I better move that up a little bit. Which is fine. Now I've got paint on that page, too. Okay, well, it's blobby, so I'm going to... I'm going to brayer it too. Can combine techniques. The smoosh with a brayer. <laughs> this is super wet because of that blue. Okay, I just had a thought with that blue that we're going to try. Okay, well that's that's an interesting color, right? Let's. I'm gonna start a new um, a new brayering off page. Okay, so this is still super wet. Let's. I'm gonna grab a couple tags. Ooh, that's pretty. Loving it. Look at that. I love those colors together, actually. Probably wouldn't have picked it, but okay, there's that one. And this one we'll do over here. Yeah. So then we have another background ready to go in this end mass journal, which I think the next few um, Mixed Media Mondays, I'm going to play in some of my art journals because I'm having the hankering for that as well. Okay, maybe right there. Okay. Okay, so this one's going to get set aside as well. Let me move my papers that are done and move it over here okay All right, I was just moving the um, scrapbooking paper a little bit so it wouldn't stick okay so the other thing I wanted to do is I feel like this one needs some dark, like maybe some black or something. Um, move those over. Look at the smooshes. I don't know if you can tell the, the texture in that dark paste, how it just kind of almost looks like a wave. It flows up. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's cool. And it's just about dry now, I think. So let's, this is, I'm looking for black here. Yep, got the black in this. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do is grab I'm looking for a newer piece of bubble wrap. <laughs> this one will work. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna bubble wrap some black on there. I don't know, I was just looking at it before we started and I'm like, uh, oh, I'm not entirely happy with that. Um. That black is pretty thick. I'm gonna grab a spray bottle of water. 
I'll just give that a little squirt and get it to maybe thin out a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Oops, that one I I moved it, but that's okay. I'm liking this better. Okay, now I think it might be done. <laughs> Set that back there. We had these, these tags that we were working on. This one's like kind of nearly there. Let's see what a little bit of black on that does. Okay, I think that tag is done now, too. Cool. Let's see. Let's see on this one. It's pretty painty. So maybe we can finish it off, too. that one a lot too okay hmm who else could use a little black maybe you we haven't used the um, sequin waste yet either That'd be fun to use on, on one. Okay. I don't know if this one's done yet, but. Okay, so I think I'm going to wipe that up. My Rag has gotten gotten pretty interesting. Okay, so now what do we want to do? I want to do that sequin waste. Um, let's see, let's look at these two. It's feeling like those two are done. So I'm going to set those somewhere. <laughs> set them right down here. Okay. I would kind of like to make a tag or a, um, something with one of these green ones that looks kind of wooded for my one journal I've been working on. I think that one's done too. I'm going to set that one aside. Um, I feel like this one could use more. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll try the sequins on this one. Um, Got a couple different sizes. I have this larger one. You know, the circles are larger. Or the smaller one. I think the larger one's speaking to me. Um, now, what I need is a sponge. Sorry about that. Talk amongst yourselves for a sec.
here I am. Sorry about that. Um, gosh, I'm I'm kind of leaning toward gold again on this. I just love how it kind of um, just finishes it off. This one, okay. I have a gold gold one in here. So what I do on these is I just take my scissors and give it a clip because I've used this already and that's dried paint right there. And so it's not going to hold the paint quite right. I've got a little glue goober there I'm going to take off. Okay, onward and upward. And sequin waste, I'm trying to think, I think you can, you can probably just um, search it on Etsy and I'm sure there's probably people who are selling it. Oh, yep. That's what we needed. Just needed ourselves some little gold dots. That's what we needed. I'm going to put these pretty much all over it, I think. At least in a spot almost here and there because it's just so pretty looks it really shows up well against the um, turquoise okay isn't it funny how I mean you can really see on this where the smoosh paint was and then it just kind of pulls it together to have another layer on top. It's just, I don't know, kind of fascinates me. Yeah, that's awesome. Need a little more paint. All the different mark making things, it's so fun. Makes you look at the world differently. It's like, ooh, that would make a cool mark. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like we're always looking at packaging and junk and stuff for our journals. The same thing here. It's like, oh, that would be interesting. fun. Too much fun. I've had a, I've had a blast today. Just getting all painty. Now tomorrow I have to get busy. I have to get myself pulled together for my retreat. Oh, that's really pretty. I think it still needs something more, but, um, I'm really liking it. Okay. Is there, let's maybe do this too. Just see how it how it goes. This I'm planning to use as a page in a journal. Yeah. Yep, like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is great. Okay. Definitely going to end up using up this gold. I've been, it's been kind of a go-to. I have a whole holder of metallic paint. I, I do love the, I don't know, 
just the added element of the shine I think is really pretty on on things. Okay, I really like that addition to that. Okie dokie. Let's see, how about tags again? What do I have left? I have these three. These already have gold on it. So this one, this one's got like the pearly, um, pearly orange on it. Oh yeah. Okay, that added another layer to that. Not done though. Um, there's this one too. Let's do it a little bit. I've got enough paint, so. My little Addie had a heck of a basketball game yesterday. She had 27 points. She had like four steals. She was just a girl on fire. <laughs> it was so much fun. Okay, I don't have much left, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put it on my drop paper here. That's fun, huh? Yeah, love the sequin waist. Okay, let's. Just like to squeeze out every ounce of paint if I can. Okay, I think I need a new. New baby wipe. We'll start another one. <laughs> we'll just hang this one out to dry. I have little clips on my light here that I can, I can just, these pretty little clips. I'll just put it on there. My light will be warm and it will dry it. Okay. So what else do we want to do? Oh, this one. Oh, this guy here. Definitely needs, definitely needs help. Um, let's use some of the Liquitex ones. Okay, I'm just going to grab and we're just going to go for it. Ooh, that's pretty. Um... I grab the same one I reserve the right to <laughs> choose a new one. Oh geez there's another another grit okay yeah these it's good that I'm using these up let's just say okay Got like a bright red and a darker red. Okay, I'll try this side of the basket. <laughs> another red. A whole nother red. That is hilarious. And it's a super dark red. That is so funny. Oops. Another green. This is going to be a Christmas one, <laughs> apparently. No, 
Okay. Let's see if we can grab one more that's not in the red or green family. So funny. White. Cool. Let's see what happens. I got a lot of paint on here. So I think I might do the smush with this. Okay, another magazine page here. Let's smush. Oh, let's do this first. Let's do this. Ooh, isn't that pretty? It's kind of pretty. I want to kind of make it slide. I can't. It's stuck. Okay, well, let's use this a little bit. Don't want to mix it too much. That's cool. Look at that. Oh, that's so fun. Okay, I have no place left. No place left to set things. That's just going to have to sit there for a second. I just want to get this one to kind of go to. Now I can see some gold on these for some Christmas collage. That's fun. Okay, I need to tidy up over here so I have some place to set things. Okay, these are all done and dried. Okay. Okay, now I have some place to set these. Ew, I'm particularly loving that one. Okay. I am just having a big old day of getting painty, aren't I? Um, I wonder, I was thinking about stenciling on something, but let's see, this one, this one's dry, whoops, so, um, I can, I think I can reach my Kathy Holden stencils do that. Um, let's see. Let's do this one. This is acanthus. I use it all the time. I love this stencil. Okay. What color would we like to stencil on here? Ooh, that'll be pretty. Um, hmm. What would we like? Royal fuchsia, maybe? I don't know if it's going to show up over the pink, though. I don't want yellow. Should we just do white? Maybe we'll just do white. Okay. Do I have a white? Seem to. Yes, I do. Okay, so 
So we'll get a little white. What did I do with it? Okay, that's weird. <laughs> I swear I picked up the white, didn't I? I don't know. Maybe not. Pretty runny, but hopefully. Because we haven't stenciled yet in our painty paper play. So let's just do it. So we've got a gorgeous day today. Gosh, the sun is shining. It's absolutely beautiful. I don't know, 34 degrees. So snow on the road is melting. It's nice. This is a lot of pouncing to do a whole page. But I want the pattern to be all over it. I swear, I think I I get um, wrapped up in doing backgrounds and then I just, I don't do anything else. But you know, if the backgrounds make you happy to look at, then it's all good, you know? But as I said, I do want to kind of work in some of my different art journals. My glue book, I have a black and white kind of art journal. I have this one. I have, uh, you know, I have, what else do I have? My drop paper ones, obviously. So, okay, we're almost to the done with this page. I was thinking I had a whole nother thing to go, but... I don't because it's right at the edge of the spine there. Okay, let's see what we got. Ooh, ah, ooh. <laughs> I love it. Such a fan of the Kathy Holden. And Kathy Holden stencils are available on iStencil. Dot com. So, and they are absolutely awesome stencils. Um, I love the, the weight of the plastic of them. It's not too thick, but it's not so flimsy that you end up bending the design. We're almost out of this white, I want you to know. That's a good thing. I have a other big white that I I don't really know what the status of it is. I don't know if it's good or good or not. But um, but yeah. So like I say, Kathy Holden stencils are awesome. Everything she does is awesome. That woman is a talent. Everything she touches turns to gold. It's just really something. So if you happen to watch this, Kathy. Hi, Jennifer. Jennifer's her sister. And um, yeah. So if you watch this, Kathy, just know that I think you are amazing. <laughs> This is gonna be a pretty two pages. I'm super excited. I think I'm, uh-oh. We're gonna be, look at that. We just about got ourselves done with one. 
I brought all these over here. I think I'm going to keep them in these trays and just know that these are the ones I need to use first. You know what I mean? Because I tend to start more and start more. Okay, just about there. And we're gonna just use up our paint, I think. I never have that happen where I just have the right amount of paint for what I'm doing. Okay, cool. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. So, now me being me, I would probably go in and doodle around the design with just some black pen or something. Okay, but I am so happy. I really wanted to get a page done in the In Mass journal, and I did. And this journal, if you haven't seen the um, videos before, it's two Mary Inglebright uh, magazines put together, um, let's see if I can find the back, so the back covers, the back covers are um, glued together, and then, um, and then I did kind of strengthen it with some masking tape, but yeah, so we'll let that dry, yay! Oh, that page makes me happy. Okie dokie. Now what? Let's see. Um, all right, what else do we have going on here? Let's see. Um, those, these two... What do I want to do with them? I might as well finish them off, huh? So let's do some random paper or random paint picking and just kind of get those at least started as a base. Well, that's pra practically the same paint color as the um, that's what we got going on in the background. Oh gosh. I'm afraid it's going to splat out if I get past the glue goober or the paint goober. As you know, same family. <laughs> paint goober and glue goober. Oh, here it comes. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> but it's flowing nicely now. Okay, what else do we got? Okay. Oh, well, that's probably enough of that. That one's real runny, too. Um, oh, I just picked that. Oop. That's a semi glue goober. It's not thick enough to be an actual goober. It's kind of in the pre goober stage. <laughs> uh oh. Thank you for putting up with me. I'm weird, I know. Okay, so do I want to? I think I want to. I, mean, I think I'm going to use this. Looks like Easter to me. <laughs> She's good and wet. Good and wet. I don't want to 
mix that too much more or it will um, turn gray, I think. I'm going to use a tag. I hope you can see that. I don't even know. Yeah. I don't even know what's on camera when I have my drop paper on. Yeah, it's kind of a weird color of, kind of a weird color of green. But it'll make a good tag base. Okay, that one's super wet. What, what are we going to do with it, she says, because she's got such a mess. Those ones are dry, so you can come over here. Okay. I actually kind of like that one. All right, let's clean up our drop paper a little bit. Okay. Um, and... I'm going to have to be careful doing my garbage. It's going to be awful paint. Okay, this one has a bit of a start too. Let's use the, um, whatchamacallit, these. Oh, no, we don't. Do we want to start with black? Hey, there's an idea. It's really thick. We'll see where we get to. Some pretty colors on there but we pretty well covered them up which is fine okay so let's try something on this kind of go like that and that and that and then let's do that Hmm, different, right? Okay, I think that. Okay. What about if we not that not that, maybe this one. There's barely any in here. Sorry, I went quiet. I had this idea of doing this. And now I'm quiet. Yeah, I felt like today I should do my woodland journal for my friend. But you know what? I just felt like playing. <laughs> So that's what I'm doing. Okay. So that's a layer. I'm just going to let that dry. 
and we'll see. I should check my time. Oh, good grief. I cannot believe how quickly the time goes. Okay. Um, I don't have anything on the floor that's unfinished. Let's look at, let's look at this guy. I feel like he needs a little black, not, do I have like a brown question mark, question mark, like a dark brown, what is this? It's a dark purple. Why not? I'm just going to put, boy, that is a dark purple too. I'm going to put some circles on this guy. You know what? I like the dark purple a lot. And then, like this one, I could see some stamping on. Definitely. I think that's good. Okay, and then yeah, I could see some stamping on that. Let's see on our tags, this one in particular, have some little circles on it. Okay, that one might need a little stamping, but I think it's pretty well done too. Okay, um, set that back there. Okay, this one needs a lot more, but I'm still gonna put, I need to use the paint, so. Do that. How about this one? Okay. Okay. So let's see. Um, where's my what I'm going to do because I like purple. Just want to get that off a little bit, but I'm going to use it up with a tag if I can. Ooh, how fun is that? Ooh, yeah. Mm hmm Okay, we'll let that just sit and dry. I'm loving that. Okay, I think that's probably pretty good. All righty then, let's see, where are we? Okay, we better do a little quick recap. Okay, well, you just saw this, but I'm going to hold it up to the camera. How fun is that one going to be? These two, we put the circles on. Um, 
Ooh, I just smudged that one. That's all right. They were still wet. These two are not. <laughs> um, and then we put some black dots on this one. And now I feel like that one's done. Still wet, but done. Um, we did our end mass, which I love, love, love. Got a little cage, which is still wet in the, sorry, I hit ya, um, in the drop paper journal. And then we added the purple, purple dots to that one. Need some stamping or something. Um, we have this one that's a work in progress, not done. Um, we have these two. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas, but those are gonna be fun to use. And then, and then we have this one. So really, okay, so I did Mixed Media Monday and then I did this session and I've got a dozen papers and probably, um, what do I have? About seven or eight tags and um, yeah, so you can get a lot done in a short time just smooshing paper or, or paint around your papers. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you for watching and have a grateful day, everybody. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.